Caitlin Clark has a big decision in front of her that could change the course of her career. She is, statistically speaking at least, one of the most influential athletes in American sports, a higher percentage than Messi or LeBron, and has done for women's basketball what few expected it could become. Actually interesting. She is ranked fourth amongst the most marketable athletes across all of sports on a global level. That's even higher than some of the biggest stars in world sport. The closest America has to him in pro sports is probably Lionel Messi, who sells tickets for MLS events here just by showing up. Caitlin can command that similar level of respect in the women's game, translating her college success to pro effortlessly. But now, leveraging that influence will give her new extraordinary leverage in deciding where she goes next. The WNBA's shorter May to October season leaves many players inactive most of the year, and the league's pay is comparatively low. WNBA stars earn a fraction of NBA salaries, with top earner Jackie Young making only $250,000 per year. Meanwhile, the average WNBA salary is around $102,000, and even players with a strong personal brand like Angel Reese often have to look for income outside of their WNBA earnings. Because of these limitations, Many players head overseas during the off-season to supplement their income, as former MVP runner-up Nafisa Collier did in EuroLeague. Brittany Griner's time in Russia was also financially motivated due to the significantly higher pay. With her star power, Caitlin Clark has numerous options. Her recent $28 million Nike deal has ensured she's financially stable, meaning she doesn't need to play overseas like other players. But her WNBA salary is only $79,000, which many consider grossly undervalued given her contributions to the league's popularity. Back in college, Caitlin turned down $5 million to play in Ice Cube's Big Three League, a choice that showcased her loyalty to the WNBA, even when it paid far less. Now, in the offseason, she's free to consider other opportunities without it affecting her WNBA commitments. One particularly enticing option is the new Unrivaled League, set to debut in January 2025. Created by WNBA stars Nafisa Collier and Brianna Stewart, Unrivaled is a US-based 3v3 league aimed at providing players with a higher-paying, off-season alternative. Early participants receive equity and sponsorship in the league, and many big names have already signed on, including Angel Reese recently agreed to join Unrivaled, teaming up with top talent like Kelsey Plum, Eric Ogunbowl, and Brianna Stewart, as well as Olympians such as Kalia Copper, Chelsea Gray, Jewel Lloyd, Brittany Griner, and a roster of other high-profile players. Clark's involvement would be a huge asset for the league, boosting ticket sales and media visibility. For investors, having Caitlin on board would bring a level of security to an otherwise risky startup. Caitlin has previously stated that she's taking a break after an intense year that saw her go from college basketball stardom to the WNBA within a matter of weeks. She hasn't committed to any off-season plans just yet, but she left the door open when asked about Unrivaled, showing she's not ruling anything out. Interested in the uh, Unrivaled League in the off-season? You know, honestly, I'm just focused on this right now, one thing at a time. Can't always just be moving on to the next, my focus is right here. In a recent clip from the Indiana Fever, Caitlin Clark hinted that basketball remains a core part of her life. Hey, y'all believe it, bro. Look, she had 20, bro. Insane. Talk about goat status. There's a strong possibility that, after taking a few months off, Caitlin Clark could be ready to get back on the court by January. 
Unrivaled seems fully prepared for this, and, according to credible reports, they're offering her a historic, messy style deal to join the league this winter. For those unfamiliar, Lionel Messi famously declined a staggering $1 billion per season from Saudi Arabia to join Inter Miami in Major League Soccer, instead signing a $150 million a year deal. His contract included a revenue share in the MLS League Pass, partial club ownership, and exclusive partnerships with Apple and Adidas. Now, while $150 million may be out of reach for Unrivaled, the league is reportedly offering Clark a groundbreaking package. This would include a salary in the millions, a revenue share from season pass subscribers, and even a stake in a team. For just eight weeks of 3v3 basketball in the offseason, Caitlin stands to earn more than her entire WNBA salary, and this time, she'll be compensated fairly for the value she brings to the league. If Clark's involvement helps unrivaled thrive and reshape the landscape of women's basketball, this could become one of her smartest moves ever. With WNBA teams valued around $96 million, there's no telling how much her stake in Unrivaled could grow, especially if she plays a major role in the league's development long-term. This move not only offers short-term financial gains, but also opens up a future of generational wealth. What's even more exciting is that a revenue share would give her a direct stake in Unrivaled's success. With her millions of fans tuning in, Clark could reap a substantial return from each new season pass sold. Plus, the setup allows her some creative freedom. She could even make the experience more enjoyable by selecting her teammates. With a roster spot still open, she might even bring in familiar faces like Aaliyah Boston or close friends from Iowa to play alongside her. Not only is this a smart business move, but it could also be a fun and memorable chapter in her career hooping with her friends and building something impactful for the future of women's basketball. Unrivaled still has four player announcements pending, and it's likely they're waiting on Caitlin Clark's decision before revealing the full lineup. This puts her in a unique position where, if she does join, she could potentially have a say in her team. Imagine her alongside her college teammate Aaliyah Boston or even bringing in Kate Martin, her close friend from Iowa, forming an unstoppable trio. Beyond the business incentives, Clark could simply be out there hooping with her friends, getting paid well, and helping someone like Kate Martin secure a lucrative deal she might not otherwise get. From a business perspective, Unrivaled checks a lot of boxes for Clark, but there are also reasons she might hesitate to sign on. For one, Unrivaled arguably needs her more than she needs them, giving her substantial leverage in negotiations. With so much influence, Clark might consider holding off, leaving open the possibility of creating her own league or pursuing a completely new direction in the future. She's surrounded by savvy business advisors who can offer her a range of options and strategic ventures whenever she's ready to make her next big move. Another point of concern for Caitlin Clark might be the recent actions on Unrivaled's social media. In the past, their official Instagram account liked a comment from a user saying they didn't want Clark and were tired of her fan base. For a league trying to recruit her, this is definitely a bad look. However, it's worth noting this was likely the action of a single admin whose personal views don't align with the league's goals. Given how heavily Unrivaled is pursuing Clark, any issue with an admin could be quickly resolved, as it doesn't reflect the league's stance overall. Leaders like Brianna Stewart and Nafisa Collier, who are driving the league, have no known issues with Clark and would certainly welcome her talent and star power. Still, Clark might also have reservations due to the jealousy she faced in the WNBA, where some players might not welcome her or could even take cheap shots on the court. If she joins Unrivaled, there's a chance she could face similar behavior, which might make her reconsider the offer. While this could be a valid concern, it's worth mentioning that only two players currently signed with Unrivaled, Dijonai Carrington and Angel Reese, have had on-court issues with Caitlin Clark. In Carrington's case, her spot isn't exactly secure. She isn't a major star in women's basketball, so if her presence becomes an issue, Unrivaled could let her go without much hesitation. With Carrington currently making $78,000 in the WNBA, her guaranteed $100,000 in Unrivaled likely motivates her to keep things professional. In fact, Stirring up drama with Clark could be one of the worst moves Carrington could make if she wants to secure her place in the league long term. From a promotional angle, 
Any competitive tension between Carrington and Clark would only bring added interest and attention to Unrivaled, making Carrington's role more valuable to the League's visibility. This ultimately serves Clark's interests as well, helping to boost the League's profile and her influence within it. Another possibility here is that Caitlin Clark might simply not be interested in the three-on-three -three basketball format. She didn't show much interest in Ice Cube's League, and throughout her career, she hasn't been involved in three-on-three -three competitions, even with Team USA and FIBA. But at her core, Clark is a pure hooper, and most top players have cut their teeth on three-on-three -on -three games, whether that's been in the backyard, during practice, or at the park with friends. It's an easy adjustment, and likely one she'd excel at. There's also a strategic angle Clark could take. She might choose to sit back and watch how Unrivaled's first season unfolds. If it struggles without her, she could return a year later with the power to negotiate an even more lucrative, messy-like deal. By that time, investors could be so eager to bring her on board that they'd offer her a blink check, seeing her as the league's potential savior. Of course, the risk is that if Unrivaled performs poorly enough, investors might pull out entirely, leading to the league folding within a year. But by keeping her distance initially, she'd protect her brand from being associated with a potentially shaky launch. Whatever she decides, this is undoubtedly a huge decision for Caitlin Clark. So what do you think? Should Clark take this historic offer and help elevate a new league in women's basketball, or should she stay on the sidelines, observing her impact from afar to see how the league fares without her? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you've made it this far into the video and enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button. And while you're here, I'm willing to bet you'll love this next video. Just click on it right in the middle of your screen and dive in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you over there.